part two. Welcome back. Let's get started. All right, so sorry for it taking so long to get something out, but here's my custom homemade scarf joint maker thingamajig, and that cuts out your scarfs. Uh, once those are cut out, then you go ahead and put some weight and some epoxy and lay it out on a, in my case, a garage floor, and uh, wait for the epoxy to set. Now, the next part, you're gonna take your plans and they're gonna give you baselines. Go ahead and throw some nails in. Um, you're going to throw a batten board up against them and trace that line. Uh, but basically, you're going to make all the individual panels now with the extended long piece of plywood. Now, we're almost there to the best part of the build, and that is getting the panels all fit up on the bulkheads. But first, do not forget to put a chamfer on the piece of plywood that you're about to go sandwich together. The reason for this chamfer, and you'll see in a little bit here, is for epoxy to go into that joint and seed in there kind of like beveling before you weld so make sure you don't forget this it's a kind of a crucial important step it helps that joint out so again take a clear look at this you want to chamfer the inside edge of the plywood that's going to butt up against the other piece of plywood Okay, so this picture is a little deceiving because I did most of the work already, but you take your two top middle panels and you put them together like a book. You take some wire ties like you see in this photo, and what you do is you drill small holes every two to three inches. Go ahead, wire tie it up, and then what you're going to do is open it up like a book, and these wire ties are going to act like a hinge. Now, there's going to be a lot of popping, a lot of weird noises coming from the piece of wood but you're okay this is all going to get epoxy together anyway and it's going to get the shell coat over the end of it so don't freak out it is a little uh difficult to kind of get it to sit right on the bulkheads i did have to use some uh, extra wire ties as seen in this next photo um, but you basically want this to sandwich down and get against the bulkhead and follow those curves or straight lines that are actually on the bulkhead and you'll see as you keep building and building and building all the layers work together and they start forming the hull of the boat. Once the general form has been done go ahead tie it down in multiple spots make sure it's not going to shift and now you're going to climb underneath the boat Put some wood flour epoxy mixed together almost like a paste. You're going to fill that chamfer that we talked about a couple minutes ago uh, in between all the pieces of plywood. And once that's all set, pull all the wire ties. Make sure that it's all set though. Then pull the wire ties. And now hopefully you understand that is why they call it a stitch and glue boat. So congratulations. We got this far. It's uh, interesting to get to this point of the boat build and think that yes I've accomplished something it looks like a boat now is the tedious task of filling every single hole every single seam and filler every little nook and cranny including the underside of the boat you have to go back and where all those stitches were you gotta put filler putty in there so this is gonna take a while uh, let's just go ahead and see what it looks like after all this is done Whew! thank God for uh, cameras and me already doing all the hard work so cleaned it all up go ahead let's start getting some uh, fiberglass over this hole and do the first layer so tape up the seams first and then throw some fiberglass over top of all of it now I was gonna just keep doing a photo montage but I kind of want to explain fiberglass and epoxy real quick while I got your attention the seams were done by biaxial fiberglass meaning that the weave of the fiberglass is going at a 45 degree angle instead of just a matte square 90 degree so biaxial tape helps significantly at the joints um, because of all the different types of stresses that the plywood's going to see at those joints so biaxial by all means on the joints as for the shell outside just run regular fiberglass it doesn't need to be anything special just not chop strand um, make sure it's a big flat matte um, of fiberglass. Now there's other you know vendors, people I could tell you who I used but I don't think it's pertinent to this because they all do the same function as long as it's a marine grade epoxy resin that's meant to you know adhere to wood. Um, like I said a lot of different brands 
a lot of different places you can buy it. So, so messed up the photos there, but uh, hey, yeah, we flipped it and uh, started putting in the bulkheads. So once uh, it's flipped over, go ahead, start throwing in the bulkheads, lining them up, and then they're going to get epoxied in place. Um, that's really it that I got for this week. Um, kind of ran on out of time here. So uh, catch me again later, and um, hopefully we'll have build part three. I'll show you how I painted it and got everything together. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching.